Hey guys, uh, so today we'll be discussing a few problems. So it will be like problem will be given and let's try to come up with the possible thoughts, whatever, and then at last we'll have a, what is a concluding answer depending on this problem. Yeah, let's start with the first one then. So here like you are given a string S and you have to return the number of distinct non-empty subsequences of S. So the answer may be very large. You have to take the mod of it. And uh, subsequence, you know, like the trivial definition, like you can skip the character, but you have to maintain the original ordering of the string. So that is what I'm saying. A subsequence of a string is a new string that is formed from the original string by deleting some of the characters without disturbing the relative positions of remaining characters. Like um, AC is a subsequence of this, right? You are dropping B and D, but the order of AC is maintained, whatever was in the original string but AC is not, right? Because order of ENC is changing. <clears throat> so if you look at the examples, uh, let's take this first one. So what we can find uh, corresponding to ABC, uh, you can have ABC, right? I mean, two raised to the power N minus one. And if you remove the empty one, then it will, it will be, I mean, all the subsets will be two raised to the power N, but uh, minus one, we are doing to remove the empty. One. So you can see this A, B, C, then this A, B, B, C, A, C, and then A, B, C, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, this again, but here you'll have duplicates, right? Duplicate letters are there, so that you have to take care. So you can see these are the possible subsequences. Here again, you'll have duplicate, duplicate letters are there, so three subsequences only you're getting. And constraints is like the length of a string is greater than at least one you'll have and less than 2000 and it will only consist of lower English case letters. Yeah. So any queries in the question, like anything, anywhere. And we have to make sure it's your subsequent empty. You shouldn't return. They have explicitly mentioned over here. So like, okay, if no queries, then what are the possible thoughts on this? Like, what are the thing? Uh, the option. What are the options to solve this? Feel free to chime in if someone has. Uh, uh, just uh, uh, add the uh, start with just a boolean. Add the character, not to add the character, and keep on going. So, so the next start. With, uh -huh. Yeah, start with the uh, empty string, and mm -hmm. index zero. Whether to consider that zero the character, uh, you add the character, don't add the character, and keep on calling after the increment index. Keep on doing. When reach the end of the end of the string, and add that string to the result. Mm. Mm. That's a good one. So yeah, you... but this method, uh, sorry, but this doesn't uh, method uh, like we might have duplicates if we go through this method. That, that's a point here. Yeah. You'll have duplicates here, right? Like this case, if you take. So how will you deal with that? And what then you have to add all these elements to the set so that automatically taken care of duplicate. Yeah, so another can be does. So you will catch the single characters first, like all the subsequences of single characters, right? So is it and like then, a sub subset problem? We had one subset yeah, problem. Yeah, yeah, right? subset yeah, problem. Same, same thing, subset problem only. And a limited like... subset problem. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. mm. Then that should work, right? What the way he is saying. So yeah, but, uh, yeah, but for duplicates, I think uh, yeah, set is taking. I mean, so yeah. you take a set at every recursive level. And then you keep on uh, monitoring if there are duplicates. And if there are duplicates, don't take it. Uh, it add it automatically. It not uh, it will be take care of that. Right? Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, mm -hmm. at the end you keep on just jumping. Uh, yeah. Adding the string to that. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Yes. It should work. Yeah. Do you want to share the working solution if you have? No, I I have not. Uh, this is I see. They have not uh, write the code for this. Mm -hmm. Okay. So but I like because it's very easiest way to come. Right. That is at least. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, uh, he's caching at every point. I mean. Uh, yeah. Like the knapsack with the standard pattern, what is going right? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Now, the, the only concern with this isn't uh, like if you're adding to a set, every time you add, you're doing a full scan of the set, right? So, isn't that a performance uh, concern? Uh, 
you take on order set okay and uh, it will be order of one time complexity okay so searching adding everything order of one time complexity uh, it is kind of map okay so it's a hash okay. oh, hash, map, yeah, hash right. table yeah yeah so what will be the time complexity for this Time time complexity is uh, two to the power n. n is the length of the string. Okay, but that will not pass, so you'll have to cache something, right? Yeah, so if you cache, it will be n square, right? N square. Uh, yeah. How is the cache come into picture here? Like for single, single letters you have, then you take some characters, add something to the. Do you think two raised to, I don't think two raised to power n will pass here, will it could, right? Okay. without caching not, not, not. Uh, okay let's see the constants the constants are sure. only 2000 yeah so two rest about 2000 will be really big number right <laughs> okay. can you enable annotation so okay okay i think uh, okay enable annotation for others yes one second So what I mean here, uh, so A, B, C, right? We start with empty string and pass zero, okay? So in the zero, we will add A first, then uh, pass the empty string, then add uh, B, then C, okay? In A, you have to add uh, B, okay? Or A in A, you have to C, okay? Something like this. In B, you have to C and nothing else left like this, okay? Okay, uh -huh. so, so that means you are caching so the first layer, right? Zero one, whether to add it or not to add it, zero one for everyone. Okay, keep on doing like this. So even so, bits you can use, right, to take care of duplicates rather than a set? No, he's yeah. actually adding the results. He's yeah, adding, adding the, the result to the set. Okay. So here, uh, n is length of right. 2 to the power n, that's what I mean, because of, uh, because of a 0, 1 uh, combination I'm coming. So that is time, and n is uh, to 2000, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't, I don't, don't know whether it will be daily happen or not for this. Yeah, it, it will, right? It will, okay. yeah. yeah. So then if you do a caching, the way Shashank was saying, memoization, right? Uh, how mm -hmm. caching, Shashank, can you uh, just uh, give one example? Caching like, uh, like yeah, whatever your, yeah, no problem. Whatever so, like, the recursive function you have, right? So you are uh -huh. actually putting a position in that string, uh -huh. right? So that if you cache in a DP array, saying if you are at a position, and your result at that, because oh, now I you have to add that result. You mean to say, um, okay, one second, let me write it up. You mean to say, get all the substring of this and add a to this, like this, right? A, hmm. B, C, D, hmm. get all the subsing of B, C, D and add A to this. Got all the subsing of C, D, add B to this. Okay, like this and keep on getting it. Add all the subsing of A, add C to this, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, got it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that will be the best solution, yeah. But still it's N square, right? Can we do it open? Okay, let's and, first see the n square. N square should be okay, right? It is 2000. Yeah, square is okay, yeah. It will pass, yeah, but we can optimize it further. Absolutely, yeah. And definitely n square will pass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so so I have bottom up, not the this, I mean, what like Thank top down think is proposing, right? It's same as like whatever you have. So just I'll walk through the example. Okay. So let me take the example, right? Let's take this one. It's it's same as he was discussing. Simply like I'll have this one. What I'm saying. Let's say A B C. You have right. So what are the subsequences initially you'll have for single? Like you can have with you can have A or it will be what do you say? Let's remove as of now. Say let's say you have A B only. Then what you'll have A B. Even you can have B right. B you can have. Only these three and one empty set you'll have, right? One empty set you'll have this one.
but like let's say if i uh, add c so if we cache these values and if you start adding c what you can do to the previous results you just append this right like mm. already you'll have these four now next what will happen ac will come right you'll, you can append this c to this even to b you can append c and then to what is it ab you can append c and here you will be c right and since you they are asking only for the non empty subsets so this part will be removed right yeah at least we can just subtract one and return subtract okay. yeah so if we look at the relation it's like what i mean if i write any function let's say so dp of uh, ih state if i want to obtain so i'll go to i minus 1 at state and you multiply it by 2 right because initially you were having four a ab and then empty set next time when c came you will have 8 right so which is two times of the previous state what you were obtaining mm. right mm. and uh, this is like if you don't have any oh, duplicates sorry, uh, sishank what is this two times i didn't understand two is like uh, uh, see for ab what all uh, subsequences you can have a b ab and empty set right so there are four Four there are right. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Now when now when C comes, what you can do? Whatever subsets you are having in the previous state, you just append C to that. So to A sure. you can append C. To B you can append mm -hmm. C. A B A B C and this. Now how many for A B C are having total eight, right? Oh okay. I mean for A it's not for A B it's for A B C right? Huh A B C yeah it's for A B C. So you're saying yeah. if we incrementally okay. add one one character at a time. So we are going to get the twice as the previous state. True. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And got so it. now, will you get twice or will you get two raised to n? But it, it will look be twice at... of if you cache it earlier. Two raised to the sorry. power n will be total, right? Which is equal combinations. Ah, to... uh, two raised to the power. I mean, I think this is this. This is equal to eight when a b c is there. Now when a b right. is there, what will happen? Two raised to the power two, right? Right. So which is So your next state is double the previous state, right? And when it is four at four characters, okay, you four characters. If you add, then again to everybody, it will be sixteen. Sixteen, yeah. Definitely, it should be sixteen. Sixteen, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. get to the sixteen, right? Right. So what is that multiplied by two? It should be power of two, right? No, no. Why? I no, mean, no, no. this it's is multiplied by two of the previous result. Yeah, yeah. So okay. multiply by two is when we are constructing uh, from previous result next result. So, uh, I mean, what you are saying is that two raised to uh, n is basically you directly take let's say ten character and say that how many uh, all the uh, subsequences are there. Then you directly get two raised to ten. Two raised to ten is the number of entries and the answer. Right, yeah, so you're duplicating yeah. it possible, every time and then appending the new character. Yeah, so so uh, yes, I, th I I think that is very very good point. I think that's the, all the possible I answer, but I think there's a one a distinct a uh, one thing that we have to take care of is uh, removing the duplicate. So you can't yeah. directly jump to that. You have to keep constructing from one character, two character, three character, and uh, keep removing duplicate. I guess. No, but if we follow this approach, we will not be getting any duplicates, right? Of adding. No, there will be. So, so there will be there. The, Let's just see. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Let's take the example of just double A also, and I think okay. that also that also we will write simply. Okay, so for single A, what will single A and empty set you will have, right? Now, when one for A, so what will happen? You will have A A, and to this again you will add A. Sorry, see, no, it's A. Okay, so now you see A A is coming, right? Yeah. I mean, for the A A four such possibilities are there. Out of these two are repeated, right? Correct. So you need to eliminate those stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Because they are asking right. distinct this. Yeah. yeah. This would happen only. Wouldn't this be happening only if the input has duplicates? Yeah, definitely. Only yeah. if the input has duplicates, then only it will happen. Else it will not. Like, right. Yeah. And this case, and, you, yeah. I mean, it is given in the ex explanation also saying that you can have same character repeated later also. Right. Uh, mm. Yeah, here see, A B C D E. Where it is? Oh, it is not given here. No, no. Okay, sorry. Okay, yeah, it's, it's like over there. Last year, yeah. like it, it will. You have to get the distinct one. So definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, how did? How are we handling duplicates? I said in this part. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, so for handling the duplicates, what you can do, let's say A A A is here, right? 
-hmm. and let's say some other x in between it something x is there right so let's say this was b so see whatever subsequence you get at this point right and if i skip this part and if this b connects with this then it will produce the duplicates right you're getting my point like when you concatenated with this b was concatenated with a you will have some uh, what what all subsequences you can have you can have mm -hmm. b or you can have pa okay yeah uh -huh. now since it's a subsequence i can bypass uh, these parts right i can remove this and directly right. i can divide text so again that will produce a duplicate right so what you can do in this case so when it was b a and then uh, sorry x x x x what it was whatever i mean x x x is like unique characters so when you are trying to obtain the number of subsequence at this point you check just before this when did you saw the, uh, see the a right mm -hmm. so if you record that position then you can uh, 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 just what is copy that her number is many sub you can subtract it from the total because that will be producing the duplicates for you right okay the, the previous when you i, I didn't understand okay. this Okay, okay. So, so these x x x can be any characters, right? See, and we'll okay, be adding it. this a after we have re like kind of produced all these sequences, all these sets. So hmm. how will it this this will so, give okay. us duplicate? See, so, see, so, see, so can I of, uh, can, can I suggest to take an example of let's say that a b and a smaller example? You can write okay. uh, at at mm -hmm. zero how many one how many two and then it will be easy to uh, explain. Okay, okay. So let me. I'm removing this. Yeah. Yeah, I'm removing. There is no use of this. So okay. Say so you take A B A. This one, right? Mm -hmm. So what happened with? Let's focus on this now. What is the uh, subsequence you got? You will get A. So so uh, uh, do with A. Mm -hmm. Just with the A, it is A and empty, right? Array. Yeah. So it is. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, uh, our dp of zero is two basically two yeah mm -hmm. okay then in next state what will have you'll have a u a b and a and then oh, sorry single a is there only that a b you will have and b and empty set will combine to give b yeah. so like and that apart from that cool. one one more a so these many subsequent no no it's fine no, right? no, no, no. A. yeah it's only a b yeah. mm -hmm. now when this a comes so what will happen if If I uh, whatever I have obtained till now, whatever you have obtained till this point, if you remove this b, if you remove this b, and you, uh, I think this is not a better example. I thought that if you no, because b a and a b are different, right? Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. You have to, yeah. Like this, if so, we, yeah, this will be better. Let's take this. Okay. So forget about this as of now. So what are the subsequences that you can get with C G? I mean C you can have. G you can have, A you can have, C G you will have, G A you can get, and C A you can get. I'm not like directly. I'm writing all the eight possibilities. Sure, A, sure, no. okay. And one C G A you will have, right? Now, if I skip these two portions, these two portions, let's say because this is a subsequence, I can skip something. They, between, these right? are seven. These are seven. Two to two so par. So there is M T will be there. MP, yeah, A B will be. Okay, mm. MT we are not considering actually. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because okay, let's consider it. So now, if you eliminate these two characters in between, because it's a subsequence, right? That could be a possibility that I can C G and A could be combination. Now, if you try to generate the things from here, you will again get the same thing. I mean, there will be other things also when you since B is there in between, but still it will be repetitive, right? These no, but we are not doing it, right? That's my question. That <clears throat> when we go to A, the last A again, we okay. already have B combined in all of the previous ones, so it will be a different sequence. No, it's not a substring. There could be like you have to skip B sometimes, right? Because it's a subsequence. I can mm, take okay. G and okay. A, right? So the, you, it, had okay. it been a substring, then B will be combined to everything, right? If it's not okay. a substring, then these parts can be eliminated, right? So you need to find when did you see the last A, right? and you okay. record that how many have you seen and at this point what you see at this point a we know that dp uh, the general dp equation is what dp of i minus 1 into 2 minus whatever you have obtained at this point because these will be the duplicates right i mean at this point okay okay so that much part you subtract from this which will give you the distinct ones for what do you say for this one mm. right mm -hmm. So you just subtract right. that. 
yeah duplicate part mm-hmm. because we also know at this point what will be the res- because we are caching the results right whatever that let's say that was a k index it's a k index it was so again you will have dp of k minus 1 into 2 and since there is no duplicates before that so it will be i mean all of them will be distinct this part has to be subtracted at this point so every character that we add we have to first check if we have seen it so will there be a map that or some set or something that we are going um, something you can maintain an array of the okay. 26 character okay. because it's an english letter it's word, all right? lower case okay okay lowercase. okay so sasang this is uh, uh, dpi is equal to dpi minus 1 what is the i value here in this case i is what is the index of this like if you are at this index right okay. what is the character 0 1 2 3 4 so then if you leave visited a earlier, then you have to remove do, 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 do value here. One. Do value will be K, dp of k. I mean, what all subsequences you obtained when you saw this a? Because again, if I remove oh. a and b, I can I will again get the duplicate those things. So those things I need to eliminate, right? Yep, because yep, got it. already these these things are uh, we are taking care here, right? And they they were already calculated. So I need to remove those parts so that next it shouldn't be. Uh, yeah. But it do be set as value. It shouldn't continue. Yeah. yeah. So we, you, when you are at the second A, first you consider assuming that uh, the duplicates are allowed. So mm-hmm. you will get yeah. the full fledged value, which will be multiplied by two, and then you just subtract that uh, whatever is the last, previous last A, time. yeah, index previous. of that A. So those right. many, if you subtract, you are going to get the correct value then. Correct value. Yeah. Because and those can... those things will be repeated again, and that you don't want. Exactly. Yeah. Makes sense. No, nice right. so, uh, how how are you is... computing the dupe uh, in this case? A dupe is like uh, see when you are at this position, this a. Uh, let me say this this a. So you got all the values dp of i equal to this minus. Forget about dupe. So this uh, whatever I've highlighted, this will contain the duplicates also, right? Do you agree on that part or not? Yeah. And now. If you remove in between, let's say there was nothing between CG and uh, CG. I mean, this highlighted CG. part is not because with it's a subsequence. I can skip, right? With CG, AB, it will be 2 power uh, 4, right? Possible. 2 power 4. Uh, yes, 2 yeah. power 4. Yeah. So that, that, I understood. that yeah. okay, 2 power 4. Okay, you say then 2 power 4, it will be whatever, 32, I think. Hmm, 32, right? 16. And 2 power 5 is how much? 64, right? So these 64 will all will sh- surely contain these, I mean, so the four, 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 of the CGN, right? Hmm. Isn't it? Four is to create. Yeah, so you will just four, remove four, that. 16, right? Six, two, two, four, one, five, it is right. Two, four, four. Oh, two, two power four, four is 16. Oh, two, two, four, 16 into two. Okay, okay, got it, got it. 16 into right. two minus... Uh, uh, minus eight, five. I think. Yeah. Minus it, yeah. So it just goes to that index a. of that p- p- previous A, and then whatever that A, what whatever that index actually that will be DP DP of I. From that in that DP of I, if you substitute the value, you will get that much number of uh, combinations what we had for the mm. previous A. That would be a duplicate. Yeah, yeah this, this finding duplicate is very important. So if anyone has doubt, please ask. Because that's the whole crux of this problem, right? Mm-hmm. And secondly, this is the smaller problem. I mean, this is the easiest problem of the bigger problems. Like, this is a small problem. Because if you go here, so you will get question. I, mm-hmm. I will take so some now, other can, can we do a simple thing here? Like, if you have, because this is more of a numbers now, right? Uh-huh. If we have C, G, A, B, A is a string. Okay, if we are working on that. Now, if we just write the numbers as a uh, DP array for DP of zero, what we what is the value? Okay, okay. So you are saying, I mean, create yeah, that, right? Yeah, just zero. Yeah. Just put so zero. For zero, zero it will be one only, right? Single C will be present. Yeah, can two, you make two. that index as zero? Yeah, yeah. Two, 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 or you can add the empty set at the end actually before returning if we don't want to consider that mm-hmm. always. Yeah, if you maintain the index also, you know, that will be good. So we can actually use that for the duplicate finding. So for yeah. zero is equal to two, dp of zero, if you say okay. something like that. This like this, I mean, okay, yeah, I got so, it. At this point, you won't talk 
level index you want, right? Yeah, okay, something like that, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Zero, you have. And then if you, you come for one, uh huh. Two, yeah, you have, two, three, you have, four, you four. Have five, enough, right? No, it is only four, no? Zero to four. So we have two, that. Two, two, yeah. Right. So now for this zero, we have two. And now for mm -hmm. one, it will be how much? Uh, one, it will be two into two, four. Yeah. So that will yeah, be four, four because G is uh, not duplicate. So that will be four. No. Yeah. This so will A be will be eight. <laughs> right? Hmm. Yeah. Now when we come to B, that is going to be what? 16. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Yeah. Now if you go to four, now what is going to be? 32. 32 minus. Yeah. Then now minus. 32, you get minus of that uh, index of that two. So that will be 32 minus eight. 24. Yeah. And this will have your duplicate the empty on loop, empty set also one, right? Right. So plus minus one. You, what? I yeah, mean, so that, yeah, that when you are returning, you will just return by subtracting. Minus one. Yeah. Uh, perfect. Yes. Because yeah. sorry, sorry, I, uh, maybe I missed it. But how is it? The thirty-two minus eight. I didn't get. Uh, where is eight coming from? So eight is eight means so, we are at this. So if you right? if you just see for four, he he earlier was for as per the earlier, it should be thirty-two, isn't it? Mm hmm. Right. Uh -huh. so, so when it is 32, but we have A in the index at 2 also. Correct. Mm -hmm. So if you look at the index of 2, the value is 8. So that many duplicates we already have considered and which are a part uh, of 4, okay. which is 32. So therefore, he is subtracting 32 minus 8. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got it. Yeah. So, so, so this is like for finding, uh, I mean, for finding this position that one is n square solution and there are other you can if you maintain some array single array of 26 character that will 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 be done in o so i'll go mm -hmm. through both of them so one is like the name brute force with i don't know it's okay uh, sashan quick question as a part of the results is it possible to have the same string but in a different order like no, no subsequent order you can't change right Relative order of the string has to be maintained, isn't it? Right. Like if a C is a subsequent, but a, a C is not because E and C are interchanged. Okay. Yeah. Right. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Uh, so saying line number twenty four, right? In the uh, in the uh, on the number under four, right? You subtract mm -hmm. thirty two minus eight. That's what you did, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Okay. Because so, see, why I'm subtracting because you will already have those subsequences when you take this here, right? So let's uh, remove all the subsequences when I take this. I mean, uh, it's like distinct k k minus one, right? I think couple of weeks, couple. Uh, I mean, last week we had some sort of problem, right? Some formula uh, we're using. Yeah, yeah, got it. So, so for yeah. every uh, distinct character, you need to remember the DP uh, DP of I also, so that mm -hmm. you can reference it later. For, for yeah, yeah, Cashing. because we are going in that direction, you know, so we'll already have that way. Yeah. Who will try, yeah. try the example with another A? Can you uh, put a pen okay. another A to it? To, to let's sure. say uh, T is there and then say let's No, no, A right after the... You, you can directly okay. also put A actually, yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah. I was just joking. Okay. Same thing, nothing you'll have to do. So you go five, right? What will you do? So at this stage, it should be 40 technically, right? But it will remain 24 only. Because oh, it is... That... Because oh, you remove this, if I skip this here, again, like, you'll get the same number. So, of, yeah, uh, so do, do same thing, no, right? Like for five, it's, it is supposed to be 48. Yeah. Right? Okay. So then you go to the previous A, which was 24 now, and then you subtract 40 minus 24. Yeah. So it will be because he has already taken care of these duplicates, right? So I don't need to care about the those previouses. I just need to care about the next immediate. Wait, why 48? It should be power of two, right? No. So, but you will always go to the previous one and multiply by two. So because yeah, total okay. total number is two raised to power five, but we remove the duplicate. So this is the answer with removing the duplicate. Mm. So had it been distinct number, then it will be the way we are saying it, right? Okay. It will be a score. Yeah, it's something it was like three kind of thing, right? They will be having then thirty two here, right? And yeah, subsequently we can take care. Yeah, so I'll just walk through the code. Yeah. It's a long back code, yeah. 
So this is like same thing. This is a mod, just whatever they are asking in the question to take a mod, right? We are creating a DP area of N plus one. Okay, I've taken care of duplicates here. Like in, if it not duplicates, like empty part, it, it would be considered as a single string. I mean, one such subsequence. I'll be removing when I take the, when I return the answer at last, right? Minus one. So what we are doing, we are going through each of the characters in your string, right? And for every time, like you have to initialize this variable. And this is like from that particular I, back you will go and check when is the first time you hit and why this is uh, minus one because here we are starting from n but your string will be zero index right so we are checking i minus one if these two are equal then just pick those values from there and come out of the loop and just subtract uh, dup and then update your value at this position so this is like of n square solution right mm -hmm. right Right. Uh, just a request. Can you take uh, take an example and oh, instead of uh, here uh, line number eleven, right? So here mm -hmm. you can uh, create another map, right? If you have visited earlier that character. True, true, true. true. That is what I have done. In early. I'll show you that solution. You are correct. Yeah, Before perfect. that, AGTM had some question, right? Uh, please go ahead. I was just asking if you can take a particular example of a subsequent string and using this code, if you can explain us like how this string is going to print uh, the subsequent numbers without the duplications and all. Yes, please. Yeah, that would be useful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, just a okay. regular example without uh, any duplicates for, for starting point. Yeah, maybe just the ABC, the first one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It will take a little bit time to. I should have copied the code to next editor. Okay, no issue. Okay, meanwhile, if that opens, uh, so this is what uh, Shreyas you were saying, right? Okay. Maintain yeah. a kind of a map, right, which will keep track of uh, when is the last time you saw that particular mm -hmm. character, right? And just pick the value. And this is like single, I mean, linear, I mean, linear time complexity, right, where we are avoiding the intermediate for loop what we are having over there mm -hmm. yeah so Isn't that is what we did in that example was what we were discussing right okay exactly yeah. mm -hmm. true no <laughs> test it's not open okay <laughs> it's testing our page yeah it will yeah yeah in the meanwhile i can this one we were talking about okay it got perfect yeah so okay here itself let me write so that so ABC is there, right? Initially, what will happen? Uh, DP string will be created. Uh, that will be how much? Four, right? And at zero place, we will put one and remaining like you'll have zero, zero, zero. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Now you go through each of the characters, right? Since there has no duplicates, so you will bypass this loop, right? Because there is no duplicates, right? This won't be satisfied. Mm -hmm. I mean, this won't be satisfied. You won't come here. So definitely you will directly pick this equation. What this equation is saying? Two into whatever at i minus one at state, right? Mm. So i is here one. So one minus one is zero. So dp of zero is dp of zero is one. So one into two is two minus dupe. Dupe is zero. So two minus zero is two. So you'll get two here, right? Next, what will happen? Okay, there is no duplicate. Again, C, I think. No, no. A we have considered till now. Now B you will be considering. So I will be two at this point, right? Mm. Again. Uh, you will go, but you will not find anything. So this will break this loop. And what will happen? Whatever the due value will uh -huh, please word. Somebody is speaking. Okay. Oh. Yeah, no problem. So then what will happen? You will go to the previous state, multiply by two, and just uh, dupe is zero. So four will be here. And at last, what will happen? Again, no such duplicates. Four cross two is eight. Eight you will have. At last, what will you do? Last value it will take from the year. I mean, one. eight runs, no, minus one. That is seven. You will okay. So that eight. for loop, what you are having on line number nine is just to find the last duplicate of the current character. Character, yes. Okay. And if you have, so it's almost the same what we showed the previous implementation. Exactly. But you yeah, just yeah. have a for loop to check that. Mm -hmm. You can even use the hash, hash map or something, right? Instead of looping. Here, also, yeah. that is what I used used the, earlier. I used a single oh, okay. DRA with 26 mm. characters, yeah. which will keep track of your last question. When did you saw that particular, what do you say, mm. string? I mean, character in that string, yeah. Mm. I think 
you might have directly jumped to the optimized solution, right? But how how you would have done this uh, without DP? I so did. I explained right. That way I implemented <laughs> only forty nine test cases getting passed out of one zero nine. Hey, really? PLE, yeah. Uh, but uh, what I was your approach? Okay. So knapsack way was using either you take or you don't take, right? That is how we go subsequence method, two days to part, right? It's like it's like uh, uh, creating all subsequences, right? So yes, yes. And then you mm -hmm. taking the duplicates. Is that yeah. is that what you saw? Yeah, yeah, that is what you're saying. Yes. Okay. That, so that will be good if you uh, want to return all the subsequences, right? So because uh, if you want to return the subsequence, that is the only way. Exactly. But no, that is a DP a bits way also, right? In bit you said, I think we have problem in lead code where we okay. return the possible subsets of the numbers, right? Ah, you are true. You can also using bit set also you can do. You're backtracking there. We but use, right? uh, bit set, uh, we cannot uh, determine duplicate is there or not. You can, you can. In bits, you will do the OR operation. Uh, the, the thing is, his duplicates are based on the results, no? Ah, uh, right. So how do we do that? Uh, yeah, it's not based on character. Yeah, I so that is maybe. what the way he's doing. Or maybe, yeah, the way Shashank is saying, you know, at every recursive level itself, you find if there is a duplicate. So there you can use a bit. If you, if you, if you salt, for example, if it's A, B, A. No, you no, no, you can't it. because order will be disturbed. No, so you sort, you're sorting, you can't do. Original ordering of the string has been maintained. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So it's not just subsequence, it's a subsequence with ordering. Subsequence itself has order implicit, inherent meaning itself is like you have to maintain original order, right? Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can't change the order. Okay. Order, exactly. Yeah. yeah, we have one more problem. We can take it so, so that there are no queries here, right? We are done. So, with this. one. One one last query, uh, Shashan. So, sure. how, I mean, is there any thought process that we can use to derive this solution? I mean, this is very good and efficient, but... Uh, so, so, the first would, thing what, uh, he mentioned, Shreyas mentioned the knapsack way, right? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, it's, it, it's the way I was doing is totally a different kind of DP. It doesn't fall in the normal like how we do, right? I mean, a totally different pattern it is. But the Shreyas, what he was saying that you take or you don't, take, right? Start with an empty string. So that okay. will be. And then, and then see, create a set, right? And put it in the set. I will create a set. Yeah, yeah. To okay. take care and of it. And then take the count of the set. Okay. Count. Not count. Count if you take it, it will happen. Uh, overflow can be happen. So you have to keep on counting by checking whether already string. On the fly. Created. Yeah, on the fly, right. Okay. Already there. A, we can count. use set, right? We can just keep, keep uh, putting it in set. Yes, yes. And, yes. Yeah. And then yes. The same moment I, we can count also. Increment to counter increments. So in, in set, basically, we keep all the values. Is that correct? Right, right. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Then so that will be, subsequences. So that will be memory uh, will be a problem. Uh, right, right. Memory. That's why treating TLE. Yeah. yeah. TLE, MLE will happen. It will test case also pass. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Or we can, uh, I think like this also, we can first let's see. One thing is when you get ABC, right? We are sure that everybody will be single, single, right? I mean, for the initial case, what will happen? You will have this, uh, this one, A, B, C, right? Okay. And now we have to create two, I mean, single, single uh, string will act as a subsequence. Now you take the B, right? And try to append to those only, which is before B. You are getting my point, right? Like we, before B, what we have set. So plus B, you uh, like you create another set here, something like that. And to this empty string, you add B. To this A, you add B. So A, B. Now you can't add B to B, right? I mean, it doesn't make sense. And to C, you can't add B because, uh, uh, what, because C is coming after B in your original string, something like that, right? And now you take the C. So if you concatenate like these two, what will happen? This is your till now. I mean, this is the state. Now you come C. So before C, what all things are coming? A and B. A. So like at this position, you I mean. I but this will be added. too much of bookkeeping, isn't it? Uh, exactly. Yeah. 
I think it won't. Yeah, this is an optimized way to do, yes. but yeah, it will be a lot of bookkeeping to be done. So what you showed the previous uh, implementations are actually very easy to follow. This might be fine. Mm, but I mean, yeah, you have to append all those things. Like, mm. lot of things. Yeah. I yeah, but your implementation ready. almost boils down to some sort of a combinatorics, right? But the yeah, only exactly. thing is, yeah, you will still use an array as an mm -hmm. extra space. Yeah. And you cannot avoid that. Yeah. We have another problem. If, uh, if they want all, uh, all distinct subsequences, for example, not just the count. Yeah, distinct only. Distinct. Right. No, no, no. You're answering only count, right? Uh, I'm count uh, only count here, yeah. but if, you can if ask for all subsequences. Then you can you add would need one. to go with the knapsack approach. Right? The knapsack no, so you can do it here. Also, move. maybe if you go to this, uh, whatever your DP array is, you know, based on the DP array, you can find out and then you can you will have to construct it individually, something like that. Like if you come to, DP, to pass. yeah. yeah. DP of zero, then it will be A and empty or whatever it is. And then B, you'll have to again take B and append to the previous state and all those things. And then you keep keep actually creating it at the end. That won't be N square, I think. Then again, one more for loop, I'll have something like this, right? Which will keep on appending to the. Yeah. Just did something like that. Hmm. Yeah, but in interview, I think definitely they'll ask you to print this. <laughs> that is a variation I've seen mm -hmm. most of the places, yeah. They might ask you the what are the exact. I think we have this problem, right? Exact subsets where you have to print, right? In the lead mm -hmm. code itself. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. There, it, there. I think the condition would be not so long uh, uh, array, probably. Right. Right. Mostly, the constraints yeah. will be smaller, so it will pass. Yeah. 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 So let's take one more, since we have time. Twenty minutes. We have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Please go ahead. Anyone, anything? Okay, so this is like turbulent. I think everybody's aware of this problem. So you are given an integer array, return the length of a maximum size turbulent subarray. And the definition is like uh, a subarray is turbulent if the comparison sign flips between adjacent pair of elements in the subarray. And wait. yeah, more formally, like this is your subarray, right? It's said to be turbulent. If array of k is greater than k plus one, where k is odd, and for even case, we'll follow this. Then again, or uh, if k lies from, I mean, here they, why it is so, more formally severe, if, if k lies between one to j, when your k is odd, area of k has to be greater than this, and when k is even, or for k less than equal to i, I mean, k greater than equal to i and less than j, okay, when k is even, you follow this, and okay, they are flipping these two, I didn't click it, yeah. Yeah, you can say this is one such subarray, right? Array of one means what? Four. Your four is greater than two. And then you pick three, zero, three, I mean, 10. So from four, you go to two. From two, you go to 10. Wave kind of structure is formed, right? You have to figure out maximum wave for maximum. Maximum length, maximum wave, yeah. And then again, array of this element is greater than your four. That is greater than seven. And then array of five is what eight. This is greater than it. Yeah. So maximum length of wave you have to find. Hmm. And you have array length like this. Four into ten is to four, right? So we have to find maximum length. Uh, so uh, so maximum uh, subarray where uh, uh, there is a more. Uh, uh, basically, it goes up and down, right? That is what you. Uh, maybe, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't matter how up it goes and how up it, it goes down. No, 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 no. Uh, magnitude doesn't matter. It's only like up and down. Okay. It should be. It's up and down. But it could have like, for example, uh, to start with odds and then it, it can change to even, right? But no, it is not, rela uh, not related to even odd. So it no, is like kind the, of... As per the constraints that, that they have given. Constraints. Like, uh, I mean, no, no, conditions uh, they are given, right? No, this only one, I think, uh, yeah, I also have a doubt about this. When k is odd and k is even, uh, what is the, 
what it is exactly time yeah. consuming. Yeah, so it's it's the adjacent. This is kind of the type of way format you have to find. Okay, whether you start from odd or even does not matter. So he's saying that if in it is odd also you have to find this can be this also. Okay, not kind of always increasing decreasing. You have to this way format also can be done. So that's why I mean even odd position. Yes. Okay, so it I mean, okay. Basically, it says that you can start from the top or you can start start from the down. Right, right, right. So, uh, what what I I had the question in my mind was like in this first uh, diagram, right? What Shreyas wrote this. At the end, it can start uh, the ultra pattern, right? The other pattern. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And and that could be lengthier than the first one. Yeah. So you yeah. need to find the lengthier one. Right? Yeah. Uh, this can be compared with like this also okay this is the break point okay you can consider like this so we cannot consider this web format you want increment decrement like this this is the web format you consider so you, two time decrement you not, not not consider two time increment you are not considering this type of you are not considering alternate flips is important yes uh, alternate flips right exactly hmm. Yeah, but the but the longest sequence. To... I'm sorry. Go ahead. Come again. Come again. I, I was just saying that the longest sequence of this increment decrement alternation could yes. be anywhere in the array, right? It can yeah, be yeah. And it's a sub array. It can be anywhere in between the array or anywhere. Like it should be continuous. But these have to be adjacent. Yeah, that's what I was okay. okay. I think sub array only they are asking it. Yeah. But sub array, yes, no, sub array is a w. That means you can't skip elements in between, right? That's the yeah. So if I found uh, I found a trough, I cannot mm -hmm. like kind of find another Rest. trough. It has to be that one. Crest. Yeah, then yeah, I have yeah. to find the peak. You go to peak. So trough, crest, trough, crest. You should go like this, right? Otherwise, two troughs shouldn't come together, right? Or two crests shouldn't come together. Oh, they can. Come together? No, they cannot. That is what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Right? okay, yeah. yeah. Making sure. Okay, yeah. That's what I understood. Yeah. yeah, so how should we proceed here? It seems like you have to maintain the previous check, the previous state, right? Depending on previous previous state, you have to decide. Uh, like if your previous is uh, decreasing, the next one should be increasing, right? Yeah, but one thing, the way Shri mm -hmm. has explained, you know, if we can go the uh, increment, decrement, increment, decrement, or we can start decrement, increment, decrement, increment. So if we do both the ways and then just find out whichever is the sub array, maximum, Max. maximum yeah. sub array, yeah, that should be also mm -hmm. be possible. Mm -hmm. no? Yeah, that should be. Uh, that is what I have implemented, like what he has mentioned. Oh, okay, okay. Uh -huh. yeah. So, so, you want... so there has to be a flag somewhere where it says whether uh, I have to find a, a trough now or a crest now. We have no, but to keep we are, on flipping it, like you can keep a flag also, but like you can maintain two separate arrays, right? Which one will keep track of all the, if, like if previous is decreasing, the other will, the greater will keep track of what what is the next greater. If you have seen this model. Hmm. Okay, so you know if you have entered something on the smaller, the next time you have to enter it in the greater, large, greater array. Yes. So you know you have to find something greater than what you have already seen till now in the greater. Is that the, also the condition? Yeah, that the when greater you are and the uh, array and the smaller has to be in some uh, order. Yeah, it has. To, if you see when you look for your next element is greater than the previous, then whatever in smaller you have seen till now, you add plus one and put that value in your greater. You are getting right. Alternately, you'll flip when you see when your current okay. Let's say you are at 10, right? 10 is greater than 2, right? So when it was 2, you were updating in your greater value, right? Because you were expecting what will be the next greater element after 2, right? Then only that makes sense, isn't it? Oh. Okay, let me think. Oh, so you're putting smaller elements in the greater array, okay? A smaller element, yeah. This is what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, but the session should be counting. counting or jumping into the solution. Uh, no, no, go let's go ahead with like whatever like we have. Let's just discuss. Another question I have on the question mm -hmm. itself. Are, are we counting the longest uh, continuous ups or downs? Uh, is it that way or? At last, I'll calculate. 
the, the longest of... alternating sequence of ups and downs, right? Yeah. Ah, yes. Uh, it has to be down. continuous, right? It has to be continuous. Like for example, yeah, yes, have continuous, yeah. mountains in the beginning, mountains at the end, but flat in the <laughs> middle. It won't work. Because of where they are asking, right? You, you can't skip. The... So for flat, it will be duplicates. So duplicates are not. Yeah, allowed. yeah, that's what I was asking. Are we are duplicates allowed in the input? No, no, no. no yes, no. they are. There so will be can be allowed, but in but answer it won't. That be. won't be a possible of that array. So you'll have to ignore them. So like in the first yes. input, eight and eight are adjacent. So that's where it breaks. The, yeah, yeah. The, okay. The sub -array okay. okay. Mm. So it breaks the sequence there. Yeah. yeah. So your sequence goes only up to this level. Right? Mm. This four, two. We got four, two, ten, then go down and then up. Right. Yeah. My yeah. other question was uh, in the example one, uh, we see that array one is greater than array two, and two is less than array three. So is array three also be supposed to greater than array one? No. 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 Adjacent, it should be greater. They are not. I mean, you don't see adjacent. No. K should be greater than K plus one. It doesn't care like K minus two was greater or smaller, right? Okay. There should okay, be so after only 10, we can always get 8. Okay. Sorry, yeah, Bhavish. Yeah, there should be only relative uh, difference between the previous and the uh, current one. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, before that, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. True. Yeah, I think we have discussed this, right? Or any... So, you, we only discussed one solution, right? Uh, and I think this is... Uh, you you are using space complexity of uh, 2n did you yes, consider yes. sliding window or dynamic programming for this solution so this is dp only right we are caching the value of the previous and uh, i mean of the smaller and greater uh, is but how are you saying that if you solution? actually explore from each and every index right you start from zeroth index and then you look mm -hmm. for either the ups and down or down and up then you so move that. to one index so this is what been done, no? Like that to the like I walk from every element. I mean, I'm just what is it? Yeah, this is more efficient way you did. Yeah. I mean, like if your current Otherwise. index is greater than the previous element, right? That means you need to increase the value in your greater. Now, how will you increase? You will check what is the because see, next element is greater. That means previous was smaller, right? So you might have stored the smaller result over here. So I pick that particular result i minus one and then add one and put that value in my greater. And this is vice versa, right? When you yeah, My question is, did you did you really need to maintain those two arrays? Or you could have basically maintained a state. How you basically, so once you are at a particular point, do you need to know what was what I had seen like five steps steps back? Okay, okay, right? no, 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 no. Yeah, that's a good, so you're saying two variables you could have maintained, right? Where you can keep yeah. track of immediate, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. That's a good thing. Previous or something, I mean, one more variable here, Ayla. Large and small, something like that, right? Which will keep just track of what you have seen till now. I mean, and this will be small, and yeah, and then whatever results are uh, stored at the small, you just add plus one, and here you add for the large, you add. Yeah, that makes sense. I think it should be possible, right? Without even using this space. Mm -hmm. Okay. This because you don't care. The daily you just challenge. care about the immediate one. Correct. You don't care about much, much later. I mean, previous. That's correct. I mean, five steps. Yeah. So this was a question in the daily challenge. I implemented in a completely different way. So maybe I'll also share my solution. Please, on, please I, share I thought the, yeah, uh -huh. you can share was uh, way different than than what you did. Yeah, yeah sure. Let's go through. Hey, uh, Chenna, do you want to basically talk about that? Uh, hi, uh, I'm Chenna. Uh, actually, yeah, you can actually go ahead and then let's see whether I can chime in. Uh, I'll, I'll look at your code and maybe I can also comment. Chenna, I think, uh, you know, the <clears throat> way you talked about sliding window, I think, uh, you know, I, I captured it, but, you know, it'll be really great if you can basically talk about the sliding window approach here, which you discussed. 
Yeah, uh, Shashank, yeah, so we were discussing about uh, sliding window way of solving this problem and uh, okay. making making sure sliding window works. Can you please uh, share the QR code, is it there, so we can talk based on that? Yeah, sure. Yeah. I think you are the Chandra at that IC Bangalore, right? Yes, yes. Okay, yes. okay, okay. Yeah, you can go ahead. All right. Uh, actually, I haven't coded this sliding window, but I just coded. Uh, uh, may maybe uh, Gurpreet was speaking there. Uh, uh, let, he, let he me coded let the share my screen. Solution. Yeah. Let so me maybe just it. share some screen and then we can actually discuss based on yeah, what yeah, you're yeah, talking I'll about. Do that. That'll be better. Yeah. Okay. Share screen. And I'm sharing my whole screen. And let me just go to the. So you font wanted to look at the font also you can increase yeah. Okay, sure. So which one uh, do we want to look at the yeah. a little more please on the font? Sure, Zoom in. Yeah. Jenna, do you want to look at the, the DP solution or the other one? DP would be good enough to start okay. because yeah. uh, Shashank was also discussing DP and maybe we can just, uh, this is just a recursive way of uh, deriving first and then trying to implement. Do you want to talk about it, Chana? Yeah, let's start. I'm just going through your code, what exactly you're doing, trying to do there. So you call a function F that's, uh, okay, let, let me just start with uh, whatever you're trying to do. So, Am I allowed to annotate? Uh, Shashank, is it allowed for us to um, annotate? Yeah, yeah, it's, you can enable. I mean, it's already there. I think it's not visible on the screen. I don't know what. You can yeah, you click I, on more, or more. I think should be able to annotate. I don't see annotation. Yeah, usually I can, as an app, I also connected from uh, iPad. I generally annotate from there, oh, but it's not enabled. Yeah, because of iPad, I think you're getting that issue. Otherwise, people used to annotate. Yeah, I think. Uh, you someone might have an let let, let me try uh, another another option. Mavish, can you switch on the annotation from main login like Ms. Jiskins? Yeah, let me try. Okay. Yeah, uh, annotation is not enabled even on laptop. Yeah, just a minute, he's trying. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it is not, uh, I can't do it from my iPad. So let me log in through different machine and I can try, okay. But we have to wait for that for background filter live stream. Yeah, no, just give me two minutes. You can okay. write on editor. You can write on editor directly. I think it might take time then. I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, if I can share my screen, I can actually show that. Yeah, go okay. I think that right. should be possible, right? Yeah. Yeah, Shashank, will you allow me to share that? Okay, let me just try. Uh, I think uh, yeah, you can share it. Yep, uh, I'm trying to share from my iPad. This is mm -hmm. just a note. All right. So uh, the problem, I think everyone remembers. So I'm just trying to give just a bigger picture. So we are solving a problem uh, for a size of n, right? So uh, n is going to be the original size. So it's the size, not the index I'm talking about. I'm just thinking, you know, in a recursive way, uh, in, in backward direction. So when I'm looking at uh, a size n, I always look at just the last character, right? Or the last item in this case, last number. Uh, so when either the last number is part of my subarray or not, so it's a subarray we are trying to build. So if it is not, then I'm just going to solve the problem of f of n minus one. If last one is part of my subarray, because I can always start a subarray in the reverse direction, you can always imagine the array like this. And the currently I'm dealing with the size of n. So you can imagine something like this. n is like uh, just a parameter for now. And uh, subarray can either start at this point or I can postpone that to start sometime later. So the subarray is going to look like this. 
if it starts sometime later in the reverse direction, I'm going to solve just f of n minus one. If I start right now, so I'm I'm going to start a subarray right now. So, but that cannot be a function f. So I'm going to initiate a function called g and then say call g of n. We need the max of these two possibilities, right? It is more like you know, this is like you know, without uh, this last character or the last item, this is with the last item. So these are the only two possibilities. Either the subarray is going to end here or not end here because we haven't even started. Now G is going to start, but the subarrays can be two different types, right? One of them is uh, it can uh, be like, you know, the last one can be uh, like a minima uh, and then the previous can be maxima kind of thing. So this is how it could be like zigzag or the last one could be a maxima and then it will go down and then go up like this. So here one of these two. So because there are two possibilities, uh, and we are just looking at the last item, uh, last number. We don't know whether that is going to be a minima or a maxima right now without comparing the previous uh, previous element. So probably we are going to call two functions. Maybe one of them could be like a GFN, another one is HFN. So one GFN is trying to find, start with, you know, assuming this nth item is a minima and this one is going to assume it to be a maxima. Uh, so when it is a minima, uh, what does it mean is the, the next one when I choose, right? Suppose if I start from here in this picture, like this is a smaller root number. When I go to the previous one, if this is of the size n here and size n minus one here. So then the previous one has to be a greater uh, element. So that is conditional. If that is greater, then only this sequence is gonna go further. Otherwise it's gonna stop here, right? So uh, if that is greater, uh, so uh, how do I put it? Maybe I'm gonna put it a con put a condition here. If uh, n is essentially size, so I'm looking at n minus one right now. So I'm going to check for if n minus two is greater than n minus one. So this means it can continue further. And I'm going to call g of n minus one with one more than the size, because whatever g of n minus one tells me, actually it is not g of n minus one, sorry. It's going to be h because now uh, it, it went up here and then it has to go down next time. So we are going to be looking for uh, you know going down. That is essentially the function of uh, uh, you know, h, right? So that's why I'm going to call something called, uh, uh, you know, H of n minus one. H is another function I'm trying to define here. So it's going to be one more than that. What if this function is uh, is for L scales, in the L scales, if it is not equal, then the sequence is going to abruptly stop here. And I'm going to return one because the current element is there, but uh, we cannot add one more to that sequence. So similarly, H is also defined in a similar way, just that instead of being greater function here, it's going to be lesser because we just want in the reverse direction. And it's going to be one plus g of n minus one if it is true. Uh, and if in the else case, I'm going to abruptly stop here, right? So this is roughly the bigger picture. So where f is essentially finding, solving for a problem of size n, and it's going to return that longest, uh, subs uh, longest substring that's going to satisfy. And uh, without it's just you know, trying to skip last few uh, you know, numbers in that. And with is trying out. So this, this is this is how we are being exhaustive in the sense that we are trying all positive cases, uh, sorry, all possible cases, right? And uh, G and H functions are like, you know, they are starting that, that sequence or the substring uh, that, that is the beginning. And whenever we stop here, that's the kind of, you know, the beginning of uh, uh, the substring or the subarray because the end is decided when F actually forked out with the F, uh, with the width path. And uh, here G and H functions are gonna uh, stop here. When I say abruptly stop, they are gonna kind of, you know, give the beginning of the subarray, right? So that's how we are gonna get a subarray. And these other parts, which, which are conditional, are gonna uh, try to expand that subarray as much as possible, right? So, and this is how we're pretty much covering everything. And uh, this is this recurrence, whatever I'm just trying to show in a, in a tree form, it could be like a recursion tree or a state space tree. So we can write a recurrence out of it and then we can implement uh, uh, the, these three functions, f, g, and h. And uh, uh, if you memoize, what are we going to memoize? We look at f, uh, f only takes one parameter, which is the size. That can be as much as n, like uh, we go of n number of possibilities. Similarly, g and h also has the same thing. So that's how you can, you can pretty much imagine a dp table, uh, one for f, another for g, and another one for h. And all of them are going to be maybe from size of zero to n. Zero, this is the size I'm talking about, not the index. You can also make it work for index, but size is generally one more than the index, right? 
so because uh, and look at when you look at all of the, the old recurrence uh, each of these recurrences can be solved in constant time that means one cell of this tp table can be filled in uh, constant time so that's how i can clearly say it can work in big of n time and uh, clearly it is right now taking big of n space probably space can be still reduced further uh, because the way the recurrence work uh, but time is something we cannot reduce further Um, I have a question about why we are starting from zero. If it's a size, shouldn't we start from one because that's the minimum? No, we're starting from the back side. Reverse side, yeah, back side, yeah. What's not that? We're starting from the reverse direction, not in forward direction. Means we're starting from n minus one, not from zero. Uh, he's just using that uh, DP array. Whatever that f and h will be of size n plus one, so you can okay. start from zero to equal to n. Okay. Can uh, okay. do you have the code? Can you please share the code? Yeah, I, I can do that. Okay, sure. Yeah, that was nicely explained, Chana. Yeah. Thanks, Chana. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. And my apologies for putting you on spot, Chana, but you explained it really well. Chana uh, is dropped off for what? I think he has dropped. Off. Yeah, okay. because when he was trying to get out from the iPad, he might have accidentally dropped off. Yeah. Okay. Uh, here, I'm. It looks I'm like okay, I think there was some network connection issue. So I'm Chana speaking again. Sorry, I, I, there was some yeah. question. Uh, Can, can I just you share the code? Uh, just to walk through the code, how it is working uh, of your animated one. Right, uh, Gurpit, can you share your screen and then show that? I yeah, I'm that not able to have... share it out. Uh, Why? Uh, okay, have... let me share my screen again. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. I think he's still implementing uh, uh, the top-down or recursive version with memoization instead of bottom-up. So he has the, all the three functions called f, g, and h. Uh, obviously, f is called from the top, um, and g and h are called from there. If you look at in the function f, if you look at line number seven, that is the without path where he's just solving f of n minus one, and line number eight and nine are calling uh, uh, g and h because one of them is for uh, just you know uh, yeah they 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 look at different directions g and h. Uh, And then it takes the max of the without path. Without path is that f of n minus one. Yeah, he already so puts a condition here. Without path, you are considering for the greater and h part considering that the other side, right? Smaller, like that, right? You are going correct. Correct. G and h are like symmetric to each other. One of them is both of them are like going in different directions. Okay. That's why if you look at uh, the function of g in that uh, when he tries to expand the subarray in line number eighteen, he calls h. So g calls h and h calls g. That's how it becomes like as exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Yeah. Right. And if that condition doesn't meet in the else part, it's just uh, it assigning that value to one. So it's going to abruptly stop there because it cannot go further uh, in that direction. Mm -hmm. And because it's memoizing, this is still big of n solution. Mm -hmm. And and n is the only thing that is going to change. Uh, he's using a, a hash table. An ordered map, which should be okay. You could have used a simple vector or an array, but yeah, it's using an ordered map here. Yeah, and we were discussing about how G and H. You could see the code duplication. How that can also be simplified. So, uh, you know, these two things can be moved into a, a common utility, and then G and H would become maybe a one-liner, and they basically call into that utility. Which would be encompassing the the things that are implemented in both G and H right now. There is a lot of code duplication happening between those two. Is the function G and H from where it is getting start? Uh, means I want to know. Yeah, there. they are line number called seven. From, uh, correct. Line number eight and nine are calling this G and H in yes. function F. Oh, okay, 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 got it. Ah, he is already putting a condition there. Yeah, uh, but yeah, even without that condition, also it can be done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, it's a very different way of doing it. Yeah. 
yeah this is uh, this is purely recursive so normally yeah. in in the process of derivation the next step would be making it bottom up which is going to be iterative mm -hmm. i think sashank what you implemented was was the bottom up but usually Probably that is very difficult final. yeah yeah sorry that it, at least for me is very difficult to visualize uh, you know for me i think coming <clears throat> top down and then uh, you know there are optimizations that we can do to go bottom up that's how i basically approach the problems and chenna you know i think he's completely different level where he can visualize bottom up uh, from the very start hmm. yeah that's yeah. true yeah. Yeah. first we should start with bottom top down and then followed by bottom yeah, yeah. So yeah i did uh, the way sasang did but uh, i have not taken uh, uh, i have not taken that uh, sasang take extra memory right i have taken only yeah. two variable have done all that yeah and and i also I think yeah, Shashank's code I think is very uh, efficient and tricky. But yeah, uh, generally I find it very difficult to derive something like that uh, from you know from scratch. And by the way, this is another way of doing it. Uh, but this is using uh, you know state machine to to basically get to the uh, thing. You know, again th that's the reason when I was talking when I was commenting on Shashank's code, we don't need to maintain the full array for uh, figuring out. Uh, the longest length we can basically just can maintain a couple of variables in this case uh, you know the state is the one which i'm maintaining to get to the longest length one second one yeah, but i think one this is more code. elegant i would show the older code one this one uh, no the other one yeah wait yeah thank okay. you mm -hmm. So you are having state. So this is kind of identical to Shashank's code, other than the fact that you're using Correct. a state machine instead of the two Correct. greater and, and, and smaller arrays. Correct. That's right. And I'm not maintaining the full array. Yeah, the same thing our Shashank did, right? Same logic. Correct. 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 Yeah. Hmm. This is also nice. Yeah. We explicitly I'll, I'll share both state. of these with you guys. Yeah, yeah, please share. Other code, please share. Uh, the one you see G and F and H. Answer. Yeah, but please share in the Discord channel. You know, yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Cool. I'll stop sharing. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Sasan, Sana, thank you so much. Share your hard question mm -hmm. solution. The DP problem, substring. Uh, sub uh, substring. Yeah, I'll share it. I'll share it. Yeah. Both the solution, okay? You optimize the second one. Sure, right? sure. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm done. So let yeah. me stop the recording. Thanks, sir. Thanks, everyone. Okay. Yeah. Okay.